The government of St. Lucia continues to make significant strides in its commitment to delivering a world-class education system to the people of St. Lucia. The government has spent millions of dollars rehabilitating school plans, and in an effort to modernize schools, computer coding and robotics were added to the curriculum. Another exciting venture was the introduction of e-books as a pilot project for Form 3 students. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced the acceleration of the program. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney indicated that the program has since been expanded to include students of Forms 1 to 4. Kids will have all of their books downloaded onto a device. Um, there are links um, for them to be able to do further research and it stores all of the information um, and it certainly allows all the communication between the student and the teacher to be stored. Um, so we're very excited about this program. And it couldn't come at a better time. Obviously, I would have liked to have seen it roll out much quicker. But before you introduce something as important as this, it has to go through a screening process. And that's why there was a pilot program in some form of three school uh, students. Um, and like what we've seen with the vaccine, where we've now had to put uh, an expedited uh, <laughs> express service to get this thing approved. And I'm very grateful that we were able to do that and that the resources have been made available to purchase, I think it's another 8,000 units in total. So that basically every kid in the secondary school, I think from form two? Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, four or one, two, three, and four, will um, all have their, their devices. And this is, I think, a, a milestone for this country, and it couldn't happen at a better time. The program is supported by downloadable lessons, infographics, and internet links. This will significantly reduce the cost of books for parents. Further, with a view of bridging the digital divide, the government of St. Lucia, in collaboration with the government of Taiwan, embarked on the government island-wide network GINET Wi-Fi Zone. This allows members of the public to access free Wi-Fi in a number of districts, including Canaries, Denry, Miku, Viewfort, and Castries. Honorable Dr. Gil Rigabert is the Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations, and Sustainable Development. Like Prime Minister indicated, whereas we had already started our e-book initiative, we had a reason to accelerate that program thanks to COVID and to move swiftly beyond the initial pilot group in the third form to including all third formers, then to consider the remaining forms one, two, and four. That process is ongoing, and let me thank the IT team at the Ministry of Education for working over time, because when we receive those devices, they have to be formatted and uh, before they're distributed. Given the overwhelming positive feedback and impact on the various districts where GINET has been installed, the Embassy of Taiwan announced plans for an extension to six more districts, including Grosile, Ancillary, Chozelle, Babono, Castries Southeast, and Biku South. 